Welcome to the Missionary Hut, a programme that looks at the latest sustainable development ideas. I'm Joe, and I'm on a six-week volunteer programme with the NGO Hands-On Help for the Poor, and I'm based out here in Africa in the Missionary Hut. In this episode, we'll be looking at an acclaimed new design to purify water for use in the developing world, known as a life straw. It's a drinking straw and all you have to do when it comes to dirty water is suck on it. As many NGOs point out, it's important for the developing world not to repeat the mistakes we have made in the West. With our hugely wasteful reservoirs, water purifying infrastructure, piped water in every home and taps, it's just not sustainable. And as we know with global warming, water is becoming more and more scarce. But of course, it's important to keep people alive, especially children. They are the most vulnerable to waterborne diseases and these straws could be the answer. Back in the UK, the Sustainable Living Advice Group have been testing out this great new invention and they're going to show us how to make one of our own. Hi and welcome to Sustainable Living Made Easy with me, your host, the Sustainable Living Advice Guru, otherwise known as a slag. Now do feel free to copy me at home, especially if you want one of these fabulous sustainable straws for your own home. You can drink your own toilet water with it, you can also uh, drink from your local pond. Now, all you need to make these fabulous straws is an empty bottle of water, with a lid. You can use any kind of plastic bottle, it could be your Heinz tomato ketchup, it could be your oil of Olay, uh, any plastic bottle will do so you never have to throw your plastic bottles away ever again. You can just collect them and make lots of straws. You can even send them out to Africa if you've got too many. You need two drinking straws. Now what you need to do is you need to make a hole on either end of your water bottle as I'm going to do. There we go, how easy is that, huh? And we'll make another hole at the top. Now you unscrew the lid, and if you dip your cotton wool into your iodine, I really love making them. I think they're so useful, and, and especially for places where they don't have a lot of clean drinking water. When I say clean, I mean the one with chemicals. Um, especially in places like Africa, where the place is full of dirty water. You never have to drink it again. Cholera need never be a problem anywhere else in the world after this. There we go, I have all my cotton wool in there. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake to make sure it's everywhere. And then, last but not least, you put your straws on. Pop one in at the top, like I'm doing now. It's nice and secure, as you can see. Look at that, lovely isn't it? And we're going to put another one at the bottom, like I'm doing now. I'm going to fasten it with sticky tape. It, it, it will last you, I would say, a lifetime. You know, per person, per family, if you're in Africa, you need to share. Um, you only need one straw for the rest of your life, till you hit the sack. How great is that? And here's one I made earlier. There we go. As I said, you can personalise it. I do quite like tinsley bits because I like to think it's Christmas all year round because life is so great. Um, but you can label it as well. You can put suck on this. So, next time you're out fetching water and you walk four to five miles, you might just need a drink. And this little one is just the answer. Now, shall we put it to the test? I'm going to get my bucket of dirty water. Dirty water? A lot of water in there, but I can tell you it looks absolutely disgusting. It looks like poo. Pop my straw in there. Mmm, that tastes so fresh. It's just like spring water. Who needs tap water, eh? Mmm, I could be in Africa. Cheers, guys! Production of these drinking straws has already started at a number of locations and the first shipments have been delivered to families in the developing world. We were lucky enough to be there when one of the first boxes of drinking straws arrived. 
where it was needed most. Isn't that heartwarming? Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for now. But please join us next time on The Missionary Hut for more on the latest and best sustainable ideas. I'm Joe Earl at The Missionary Hut. Until then, keep thinking and keep drinking through your straws.